Well, it's season's end. Halloween and autumn are almost upon us and all those lovely recipes that come with winter cooking. And you find me here in my cookery school where I'm going to cook up a treat of lovely easy dishes for you that'll take you right through to Christmas. First recipe I have for you is a sun-dried tomato bread made in one bowl. These are all nice and simple. So it's a pound of flour in the bowl. Into that I'm adding a couple of ounces of porridge oats. I'm adding a little bit of feta cheese, which I'm just going to crumble in. A little bit of sun-dried tomatoes, all those great tomatoes from this time of the year. A little bit of seeds, just pumpkin seeds, a little bit of linseed going in there as well. One of my favourite herbs, which is basil, that fabulous smell that it has. Just tear it off the plant like that, you don't need to be too exact in chopping it up. A little drop of olive oil and then buttermilk, just to mix it all together and then straight into the tin. It's a one and a half pound loaf tin that I'm pouring it into, flattening it on top and then just the end of those little seeds I'm going to sprinkle over the top. So, over to the oven with the bread. And these ovens that I'm cooking on that I have here in the kitchen, these are from the Normandy Smart Living Range. I love the sleek appearance of them and they're pop-out controls and all the adjustable shelves. So they're going in here on the middle shelf, 200 degrees centigrade, gas mark six, should take about 25 minutes to cook. So it's a good idea at this stage when you bring it out, just turn it out of the tin while it's still warm. But if like me, you just want to get a knife, cut it into slices, put a wee bit of butter on top of it and eat it. And just you do that. I have another great dish for you for this time of the year. It's a honey roasted pumpkin and chorizo tart. And it's one of those dishes that's great for a lunch. It's lovely for a starter. And I'm going to cook this one up here on the gas hob. Now, with Normandy, you can get a gas or a magnetic induction or even an electric hob. They have automatic ignition here, but as well as that, on cooking and gas, you get a really nice high temperature. And you also get this wok burner that comes with your hobs, which is really good if you want to cook something really quickly. I have in the pan a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of red onion, a little bit of chorizo. Now, I want that to cool down slightly. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of spinach, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of cheese. It's a pastry case. You can either use short crust pastry, phyllo pastry, puff pastry, whatever you fancy. I'm just lining a flan dish here, and then into that, I'm going to pour this lovely filling. It has a topping that goes on top of it. And it's made with a little bit of yogurt, a couple of eggs lightly whisked. Just mix the two of them together, and then just pour over the top of this lovely pumpkin and chorizo. Finish it off with a little bit of mozzarella cheese, just sprinkled over the top. So, that's it, ready for the oven. About 200 degrees centigrade, gas mark six again for cooking this one. Going to pop it in the middle shelf. You have different cooking options here, but I think this will give it a lovely crispy topping. If you want to make it even darker, you can finish it off with the grill. Everyone expects the best from their oven when it comes to home baking. And so, with the help of Normandy, I've got a great recipe with seasonal berry muffins, with the flavours of the blackberries, the hazelnuts, the cinnamon, all those lovely flavours of the season. You'll just love this. This is home baking at its simplest and very best. Butter, sugar, egg and flour, all in the bowl together, all going in at once. I'm just mixing it all together. Now, it's self-raising flour, which has a raising agent in it, so these should rise up for me really, really well. And when you've got the mixture nice and soft and well combined, then in with the blackberries, a little pinch of cinnamon, some hazelnuts, which you've just chopped up. You can use any nut that you want. A little sprinkling of vanilla essence going in as well. Don't over mix it because with muffins, the less you mix them, the better. And I've kept a few of the fruits back because I'm going to put those on top. And then just spoon these into your little muffin cases. These are just little muffin tins here with little cases in them. Fill them sort of two thirds, a few little fruits on top, a little sprinkle of demerara sugar, and they're ready for the oven. There, I told you they were easy. Everybody loves a toffee apple. Sugar and water, great when you cook it on the wok burner because you get a really high temperature there, so the toffee doesn't do funny things for you. And just dip the apples that are nice and dry with a good solid stick on them. 
in and then just leave them to cool. And look, in no time at all, they're hard. This is a fire cracking casserole that I'm going to show you now and it can be made with sausages, chicken or turkey depending on whether you're cooking for Halloween or right through to the Christmas season. This is a one pot wonder and I'm cooking it here in the Normandy gas hob which gives me that lovely sizzling sound and you get that fabulous aroma that comes off food when you're cooking it this way. I've just got plain pork sausages in the pan and for flavour I'm cooking them up with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger, there's a little bit of butter a little bit of soft brown sugar, that's what gives you that lovely sort of sizzling stage, that lovely sound as you're cooking. I'm adding to this all sorts of lovely vegetable dishes as well, vegetable ingredients. So I've got a little bit of onion, white onion, a little bit of red onion, a few spring onions which are great for colour and I think just add that little bit of extra flavour. Yellow and red peppers, Halloween time, they look really, really good. And of course, you've got some pumpkin, a little bit of that chopped up with just a couple of ounces of pumpkin flesh. Pancetta or pancetta bacon, wonderful for flavour. And again, as you add these, just keep stirring it round as you go. Bit of sun-dried tomato paste and then chilli in the form of chilli sauce, just a couple of dessert spoonfuls going in, and a little bit of stock, or apple juice. You can use whichever one you want. Good stir around with all of that. You want to put the lid on top and just leave it to simmer away, nice and slowly. That looks good. A little bit of herb, just to finish it off. You can put parsley, coriander, whatever you like over the top of it just finishes it off. So there you are, a lovely simple selection of recipes for you to enjoy whatever the season, with the help of Normandy, Smart Living and all their up-to-date technology. And it allows me to create these sorts of dishes where you have bread made at once, where you have a quick tart put together with pastry, you have muffins made by the one cake method and a one pot wonder for you all to enjoy, whatever the season. <laughs>